I have gotten this question so many times, especially from our diaspora clients, asking me, Mungai Kihara, what do you mean by an eighth or a 50 by a hundred? And this is the answer. When we say 50 by a hundred, we mean 50 feet by a hundred feet. And that is 5,000 square feet of land. On the other hand, a quarter is 100 by 100 feet. And that is 10,000 square feet or a multiplier to get the same. Today we are in Kiambu Road, exactly 15 minutes from Nairobi CBD and exactly 8 minutes to Kiambu Town. And this is a gated estate of 6 units and each unit has been constructed on a piece of land that is slightly smaller or slightly bigger than an eighth. Each unit has a print area of 370 square meters and the price is 45 million Kenya shillings. So if you don't have the money, please don't call us. On the opposite side, you have the front yard that opens to the back yard on the far end. And on my right hand side, you have a four car parking that is next to the entrance porch. I know some of you will be saying, Mungai Kehara, that entrance porch is very small, but one thing to note is that this entrance porch is very beautiful and I like it because it is a double volume. But this is not the only entrance that we have. On the opposite side, we have a bigger entrance and our cameraman will use that door. Let's get started. From the entrance, you are getting this small hallway that takes you to the kitchen, the guest bedroom or the upper level. Here we have the living room of this unit and as you can see it is a big space, it comes with two windows and a massive grill for your security. And yes, 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 I know. It has taken us many years before we had a case of insecurity in this locality. But it is better to be safe than sorry. This is the door that I was talking about. And here you have the focal point of this unit. I like the Chepsium ceilings because they have been done very well. But what I don't like is the center light. For 45 million, you did something better. Unless they are willing to customize it for you, you need to start a war. On the opposite side, you have the dining area of this unit and it is massive, very big for a standard family. As you can see, the dining area will easily fit a 12-seater dining set or maybe more. The dining area comes with three big windows for maximum natural light and I like the craftsmanship on these grills. And because I know some of you are very naughty and shameless and will start asking me, Mungai Kihara, is someone living in the unit that you showcased? No, of course. But you have these slippers that have been written for Alice and I don't know what France has to do with this development. On the opposite side, we have the kitchen of this unit and as you can see, it's beautiful. And I like the island because it's bigger than standard. Let's get in and I'll show you everything. From there, you can see that the kitchen is massive, very beautiful and very well done. I like the mixture of black and white because they make this kitchen look very modern. On this side, you have a double sink and it comes connected with cold and hot water access. And for the first time, we are going to take a sip of the water. Is it Fiji water? No. Is it the most tasty for water that we have tasted? Not really. But am I going to be warm after this? Absolutely. On this side, you have the refrigerator area. And as you can see, it is big for a double door and it's exactly 6.3 feet. The spaces you see here have been reserved for your microwave and the oven. The kitchen comes with numerous sockets for any other kitchen appliances that you may have. I like it that the developer included some drawers here. And here at the island for your cutlery, and your crockery. Your cooktop will be fixed here. I like the flow of the gypsum ceiling from the living room to the dining area and now to the kitchen. One thing that is very interesting, they have a socket on the roof for your heat extractor. Next to me, you have your pantry. The pantry has been done very well and it comes with numerous compartments for all your dry foods. It also comes with some sockets here if you want to have a freezer or another fridge. This door takes you to the laundry area, the double employee quarters and the kitchen garden. I like it that the unit comes with two laundry areas. You have a laundry area here and you have an extra one here. 
This is one of the employee quarters, but still it can be used as a store. The main employee quarter is here. On the opposite side, you have the backyard that joins to the front yard on the other side. And we have some storage here, which is under the stairs. I'll take you back inside. From the kitchen, we are landing at the center of this unit. And you have a small vanity that can be used to wash your hands as you are doing anything on this level. This is the common washroom and it comes with a WC and a wash basin. On my left hand side, you have the guest bedroom. Let's see it. I like the quality of the doors that the developer used and this adds to the 45 million that you are going to pay. On this side, you have the closet of this bedroom. It is not the biggest, but it has been constructed very well. I like it that it comes with this section for the shoes and you have three drawers down there. The bathroom to this bedroom is here and it is just a replica to the other bathrooms that we will see. Let me take you upstairs. I like the width of these stairs and the developer made sure that he used hardwood floors on the staircase. On this level, we have the primary bedroom, the two kids' bedrooms, and we have a family room. We will start with the first kids' bedroom. Another thing to remember is the flow of the wooden parquet all through this unit. The first bedroom comes with a massive closet, just similar to the one that we saw in the guest bedroom, but this one comes with the drawers at the center. You also have some spaces up there for an extra storage. On the opposite side, you have the bathroom to this bedroom. It is slightly wide, but slightly shorter. And as usual, you have a wash basin, a WC, and a shower cubicle. One thing to like about this bedroom is the views that you are getting from the balcony. It is a million dollar view. If you will be the kid in this unit, you will be enjoying the cold breezes of Kiambu and you will be getting the best views of Kiambu greenery. And on the opposite side, the neighbor has done some makutis which gives this estate a very traditional feel. From this satisfactory view, I'll take you inside and I will use the window like the stupid div that has been giving you headaches. Let's see the second bedroom. Before we see the second bedroom, let's see the family room. The family room is not the biggest, though it is sufficient for a small nuclear family. It comes with the best views of the estate from this balcony. And the best part is that we only have two units left and they are the corner units. These units are the only units that will give you the best views to this estate. I'll take you back inside. Initially, I wanted to show you the second bedroom immediately after we did the first bedroom. But we can see the primary bedroom first, or why not? From the entrance of the primary bedroom, you have a set of closet spaces. And on the opposite side, you have a similar setup. But on this side, you have spaces for your shoes. And this other space is the primary bedroom. As you can see from there, the primary bedroom is the biggest and it gets the best views to the front side of this estate. All the bedrooms come with DSTV ready just in case you can't get enough of your Teremudo series. If you are among my tribesmen and you have to sleep facing the mountain, this is where your bed should be. But if you are among all the other people, you can sleep elsewhere. Let's see the primary bathroom. From the entrance, you can see that the primary bathroom comes with a double vanity. You have a shower cubicle and a WC on this end. I don't think that this space reserved here is enough for a bathtub, unless you have shorter legs. For 45 million, I expect way more. 
Let's see the primary bar one. This balcony gives you the best views to this locality. And if you check around, you will be very sure to note that Hapani Kwa Matajiri. Let's get back inside. The second bedroom is just a replica to the guest bedroom that we saw downstairs. The only difference is that this one comes with a slightly bigger closet and a slightly bigger bathroom. I'll take you to the roof deck. The roof deck covers a print area of around 170 square meters. And on my left hand side, you have your barbecue area. On my right hand side, you have an extra bathroom and an area for your water storage. Right now, we have a 3,000 litre water tank, but you have a space for more tanks. In Kenya right now, anything beyond 20 million, location is very important. And your neighborhood must be pristine and very good. As you can see from there, the neighborhood is enjoyable. You would want to live here. On the opposite side, you can see that the greenery is endless and you have this space. Just come with me. that has been set aside for you to enjoy the best views and the morning sunshine. On the opposite side, you have the barbecue area. And it comes with numerous sockets for you to connect your grids. And that's all for this roof deck. We have come to the end of the tour and we hope you have enjoyed. If you would like us to show more of this, kindly comment on the comment section below. We hope this has been an insightful review. Make sure you follow us on TikTok and subscribe to this channel. That's all for today and we'll see you in the next video. And as always, my name is Mongai Kihara. Bye bye.